I am Becky of thinksamurai.com and today I am going to be talking about My Little Ponies. I have been doing a lot of enamel pins 101, a lot of teaching stuff, and it's been really fun, but I really also want to talk about cute stuff. So today we're taking a break and we're just going to talk about cute stuff because I got, I wish you could see my table, I couldn't figure out how to set it up, but I have the six Gen 1 um, My Little Ponies that were released this year that I'm super excited about. So I thought it would be fun to just talk about ponies. I have three of these little blind boxes and, um, and these are my original ponies from the 80s. These are my girls. I feel like you get a real window into my childhood and who I am by <laughs> these particular ponies. I don't know if it's because I was just brought up super feminine because I was the first uh, granddaughter on both sides of my family, but um, look how perfect she is. I feel like this pony, this is, I think it's rainbow curl stripes that obviously the hair used to be curlier, <laughs> but I feel like this pony in particular just kind of shaped who I am today. <laughs> Like, look at her. She's rainbow and pastel and perfect. She was like always my princess, the most popular when I was playing. She was like the best one. <laughs> and you can tell the poor things are, are dirty, but this one is Pina Colada. And I loved her too. I always really liked her super straight hair because I always had really straight hair when I was little. It got curlier after I had my son, but obviously I still straighten it. I feel like once it straightens, it's fine. Um, it doesn't curl up again, if that makes sense. But I always thought she had hair kind of like mine, so I liked her a lot. And oh, these poor, I would love to kind of recondition their little tails and get them back to their glory. But aren't they so cute? Look at my girls. Look at that. Yeah, these are from the 80s, late 80s, I think. There's a My Little Pony wiki, which I was just looking up because I absolutely did not remember their names <laughs> before this. Um, I just loved how they looked, but look, shooting star butt, like, come on. Cutie marks are perfect. Okay, so I really want to get into these My Little Ponies. I found all of them except Snuzzle and Minty I had to get on eBay. <laughs> I was trying really hard not to and I was like trolling all of my local targets to try and find them and uh, to no avail. But those are the only ones I had to, they're really not that much on eBay, but I want to open cotton candy first because she's pink. I just want to see, I don't really need to open all of these on screen because it's the same thing. Um, but I just want you to see because it's the 35th anniversary. If you want to place these actually came out um, the year I was born. So yes, I turned 35 later this year. Um, and so being an early 80s kid, oh, oh, I was obsessed. Okay. Okay. So here's, um, and then there's like this to keep their hair straight. I don't know. Okay. Sorry, I'm just gonna be rambling a little bit because I'm really excited. Okay, let me get this comb out first. Okay, apologies for the noise. Ooh, okay, all right. Okay, let's see, how are we, what's the deal with the hair? What's the deal, how do I get the hair out? You guys, oh my gosh. You guys are just probably laughing so hard at me. Like, girl, can't even figure out how to get pony hair out of here. Oh, oh, no. There's some tape. There's some tape involved. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. You can just kind of pull it apart. Okay. We figured it out. We're in this together. Okay. Yeah. So you can just pull it apart. It's really not that hard. Oh, okay. Now... This hair is beautiful, and she's got the most amazing 80s bangs. Look at that. Oh. She's like flipping Ariel over here. 
Okay, and now her tail is wrapped around here. And this is how all of them are packaged. So I absolutely will not open all of these. <laughs> I'll show you what they look like outside of the box though. Um, oh, look how precious and curly. Well, the bottom's not that cute, but what can you do? Oh, hi Mooch. Cat just jumped up out of nowhere. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to comb out her tail because I'm really making, um, great content here for YouTube. But yeah, I loved my little ponies. I was always a very girly girl. Like I said, I don't know if it's just because I was doted on and everything I owned was like pink forever because my grandmothers, um, loved having a first granddaughter. Okay. Well, that's not going to do anything. So we're just going to leave it like that. But I feel like these really speak to my soul. I used to love the cartoon, of course. I don't know. I just love ponies. I've never really cared about horses in general. I feel like a lot of a lot of kids go through that horse phase, but <laughs> you know, like the quality, I feel like the plastic is a little bit better just to get off track here for a minute because they were always like a little smooshy. I guess this one's, yeah, like you can kind of squish it in, you know, and this one can't. Is this the worst toy review ever? Hmm. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, <laughs> here's cotton candy, just like the 80s ponies. I'm really excited that they're going to be making more, obviously, because they were sold out everywhere, and all I want is the stuff that I had when I was little. So, there was that. I am just going to open these blind bags now because these were new and I'm not really sure how I feel about them because I am kind of a purist. I did really like the, the first season of the friendship is magic. My little ponies when they came out, um, I had a good time with that and I started collecting all the little blind bags. Um, but it kind of get, it just got so extreme and I don't know. I just really like the lazy, lazy, sleepy looking ponies. They're just a little sweeter. I don't know. So this looks like it didn't quite translate, but we'll see. Shall we? They're huge. They're enormous, by the way. Okay, let's see what these look like. What do I get? What? Speaking of pink. Okay, we got Sundance. Ta-da! Sundance is Megan's super special friend. Wherever there's a rainbow to be chased, you'll see the duo on their way. Her cutie mark is an artistic pink heart pattern. Cute. Okay, yeah, I just showed you all of the ones you can get. There's one firefly in gold, so clearly that's one of these. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. What do you think? I think having my own, like her head is not, her head is really big in comparison, but I think I might like it. I don't know. I'm having a hard time. We'll have to open some more because I'm kind of digging it now, but I don't know if it's just because I'm holding it or what. Okay. So here's, there's what she looks like. What do you think? It's like, they're so close. I don't know. I kind of like it. Okay, let's open another one and see if I can really seal the deal here. I was really hoping to get, who was I hoping to get? Well, they have like pearl and glitter flocked ones, but I think Sundance is what I really wanted. Applejack would be cute. Firefly would be cute. Minty would be great. It'd be nice to have a couple of Minties. Anyway, Ooh, let's see, let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, someone's missing a leg here. Okay, Minty. All right, so I got a Minty. The two out of 12 regular Minty. Um, but... <laughs> Leg came off. Okay, let's pop you back on. I had enough toys in the 80s to know how to reattach a leg. My poor Kendalls, man. 
I always had legs coming out. Okay, that's better. Yeah, their heads are just so big. I think maybe it's also because the articulation makes everything look a little disjointed. But she's cute. Come on, she's going to look great in my little green section of my shelves. I think. Yeah, I think I'm on board. I think I'm going to have to get all of them now. That's a, now it's going to be a problem. Okay. Last one. Going for that one gold. Like, literally one out of, like, all of them. <laughs> I think that's a little rude. Who's going to get that? Someone, someone random is going to get that, and they're going to put it on eBay for Lord knows how much. Okay. What do we get? Oh, look at that one. They're dupes. We got, whoa, hold the phone. Who is this? It's not Princess Sparkle. This isn't a different one. This one's not on, is this not on the thing? Collect them all, each sold separately. Where's the card? Hold on, because this is, She's got wings. Oh, it's Firefly. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see. I couldn't even tell. I was just so confused. Okay. All their little bits falling off. You know what? It could have helped if I looked at the card that was just clearly in her thing. This is thrilling television. Okay. Oh, put her little wing on. Oh, she's cute. Little Firefly. Okay, so here she is up close. Firefly. Okay, you kind of have to look right here to see her cutie mark. She's cute. I like all the, like all the tail molds are different. And the hair molds are a little different look at them all oh my gosh they're so cute together okay I'm fully on board now you guys you're seeing me come around oh I love them okay so that's the end of pony extravaganza showed you my originals who I love my babies plus these blind bags which how exciting is it that I got three different ones I feel like my luck with blind bags has not been very good lately so this is exciting ah! And, and then we open the one cotton candy because they're all pretty much the same in the new release. Um, I got most of them at Target. I think they had some at Toys R Us. Um, I would assume Toys R Us is clearing everything out now, but also in the collection. And I heard they're doing more, so that'll be exciting. But we've got Butterscotch and... Minty and Snuzzle, which I had to get on eBay, womp womp, and then Bluebell and Blossom. So these are the Gen 1s, the original ponies that they re-released. So it's so exciting. Yay. Okay. Well, I hope you liked um, this random cute stuff video. Uh, it just felt like taking a break from more of the heavier stuff. So uh, give it a like if you're into it. Um, give me a subscribe. And let me know in the comments if there's other like vintage toys or other toys that you want to see me look at or talk about or ramble on and be confused as to how to open. Bye!